Gunnar Jackson, as you will see, is a bit taller. The weight, just about the same. Bowen Morgan's a little bit younger, and Gunnar Jackson has a longer reach. Jackson coming off a win, and Bowen Morgan coming off that loss. Is Dan. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for eight three-minute rounds of professional super welterweight boxing action. It is sponsored by Burger King. Burgers, the way they're meant to be. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with white trim. He weighed in at 69.6 kgs. He hails, he hails from Wainui Omata, New Zealand. He is the former NZPBA middleweight champion, former WBO Oriental middleweight champion. He has 36 professional fights with 25 wins, eight losses, and three draws, with 11 big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Gunner the Stunner Jackson! And his opponent fighting into the blue corner, enters the ring wearing black trunks with yellow trim. He weighed in at 69.7 kgs. He hails from Christchurch, New Zealand. He is the current NZNBF welterweight champion. He has eight professional fights with seven wins, one loss. Four big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Bowen Morgan! <laughs> Fight us in the center ring, please, for Isaac Peach instructions. Okay, boys, page your instructions in the dressing room. Take yourself several times. Touch gloves, this guy. Ten point must scoring system, no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. But I cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee can stop the fight in case of an accidental foul. Mike and I will explain that rule as it becomes pertinent to what's going on in the ring. Here we go. Round number one. They're both in black trunks. Morgan has the gold trim on his. This is the best fighter that Morgan has faced. And it's a tough one for him. Jackson has fought international fights. And Jackson is a very, very good fighter. Very tough. He's been ten rounds nine times including 10 rounds with Anthony Mundine in Brisbane, Australia. Well, uncharacteristically fast start from Gunnar Jackson. He's not the heaviest puncher, but he's taking advantage of the fact that Bowen Morgan is a, is a very square fighter, and he walks forward. He's landed the uppercut. He's landed a couple of straight right hands, and he's trying to keep Bowen Morgan off balance and catch him, doubling the impact on the way in. Yeah, when I saw uh, Ryota Morita uh, against him in uh, Las Vegas, he didn't start anywhere as near like this. He caught Morgan with a decent right hand that time. Did Gunnar Jackson. Gunnar has the black trunks with the white trim. Morgan with the sparkly black trunks and the gold trim with his name on the front. I mean, he is the consummate journeyman professional. He's, he's good and solid to put up good performances on that top class international level. He won't beat the top guys, but he's going to put in a brave performance. I think this is a tough uh, step for Bowen Morgan. I think it's a, you know, in spite of the fact that he had a tremendous amateur career, I suppose his handlers, Phil Shatford, who's uh, handled all the best amateurs in this country and been all over the world with uh, the fighters in this country, feels like at 27, we got to find out what Bowen's got. So this is some test for him right here. But right now, Gunnar Jackson's out boxing him. And Morgan just digging away, chopping away to the body. This is an eight by three minute round fight. The other thing to think of is another thudding shot lands from Morgan is uh, Gunnar Jackson has fought up as high as super middle overhand right lands, whereas uh, Morgan is a welterweight. And uh, so he's effectively coming up to fight at this 66 kilo catch weight. This is it would be super welterweight uh, at 154 in pounds for the rest of the world. Jackson, I think, is at his best at super welter. And Jackson doing a nice job here now. Morgan chases him instead of trying to cut him off. Gets a couple of decent body shots in. That's a hard body shot. He's uh, been known to drop guys with their liver shots with the left hand, and he tried that a couple of times on Jackson and was successful. But you're right, Mike. He squares up a lot. He's very square right now. It, it leaves him in decent position to land that left hook to the body underneath the right elbow of Gunnar Jackson. Jackson unloads the right hand, which grazes the cheek, and there's that body shot again. It's about the sixth one in this round that he's hit him with that. And I'll tell you this, Jackson won't be able to take it all fight long if he keeps hitting him with those flush kitty, uh, or rather, uh, liver shots. And that's what they are. Morgan also tends to switch to southpaw a lot. 
which is a, a factor of him being square. His left hand is his dominant hand. Well, that's a round that should go Gunner Jackson, although some work late in the round from Bowen Morgan as he found the body as Jackson's work to keep him outside just floundered momentarily. Last minute of the round was was Jackson, uh, uh, was Morgan's brother, and Jackson, I thought, that did a nice job in the first couple of minutes. I'm going to side with you and give that round to Jackson. Although Morgan starting to catch up with that body, and he's found a home for that uh, a shot as we listen into the corners. Right hand over, whip the body shot. That's Bill Shatford. And there's that left hand of Bowen Morgan. Doubled upstairs, or upstairs, downstairs with the left hook to the body. But Gunner Jackson did a lot of work in the first two minutes, particularly on the outside. And round two underway. Well, you call it right from the get-go that Jackson has started much faster than we've seen him start before. And... You know, it was good for the first two minutes, and then uh, Morgan started to find a home for that left hook to the body. You mentioned the fact, too, that Morgan uh, switches sometimes from left to right. He can do it where a lot of fighters can't because he's a natural left-hander. So he's got power in both shots, but I don't like him as square as he is. I, when he fights as an orthodox fighter, I'd like to see him turn that left shoulder in a little bit more. But he gets good leverage with the left hook the way he's standing. Very close to heat clash there. Be interested to see if the referee calls him for just leading with the head. Jackson's on his bike a little bit early in this round. Bowen Morgan, the irresistible force coming forward. Nice combination, though, from Jackson catching his man coming in. Jackson, though, his punches were taken on the gloves, and now I'll tell you, Morgan has landed some real clean shots. He's picked up in the first minute of this uh, round, the second round, where he left off in the last minute of the last round. So he's turned this thing around for him. There he goes with a right hand body shot right back to the left. Notice the way he's switching too. He, he doubles around or goes around 90 degrees to his right and then lands another body shot in there to another, the solar plexus. Another guy that does that very well is uh, Gennady Golovkin. He steps around like that and uh, lands shots like that. Morgan really landing great body shots in here. And he's got his head kind of on the shoulder of Gunner Jackson. This Gunner comes with an uppercut. He can't hold him off. Overhand right. The thing with Gunner Jackson is he's a very durable fighter, but as he's backed up to the rights, but he doesn't have a killer punch. And uh, Bowen Morgan has figured he can weather a lot of those shots on the way in as he again digs downstairs to the body. There he is with the uppercut. Morgan has picked up the pace now. It's he's dictating. He's the ring general right now. Where it started out, it was uh, Gunner Jackson like a house of fire for the first couple of minutes of that first round. And now Morgan really has found a home with these hard hooks. See him using his head, and Isaac Peach has got to say something about that, and he will. He's a very good referee. Gunner Jackson, though, he's been 10 rounds, he's been 12 rounds against big punches before. Season pro. Nice little left hook, chopping right hand there down the tubes. Yeah, and he's got a little abrasion by the left eye. Nice uppercut that time by Gunnar Jackson. So Gunnar trying to turn it around here as Morgan continues the body assault. Just as I say that, he comes back upstairs, half up a cut. Gunnar bends way over. He's very wide-eyed, tries to throw his own right hand. Blocked in the back of the glove by uh, Morgan. Jackson on the outside, when he moves slickly, that's when his superior skill set comes into play. On the inside, Morgan's suffocating him. He goes to work with those two-fisted volleys to the body. Closing uh, seconds now to round number two, and I think that Bowen Morgan had a very good second round. Right at the belly, get clipped though. Whoa! Finished that round with a punctuating right hand, Gunner Jackson. I don't think it was enough to take the round though. Bowen Morgan, forward momentum, vicious body shots for most of the round as we head to the corners. Gunner wanted me to say hello to everybody at the Valley Inn down there in Christchurch. Georgie Calvin and the boys are up here watching the fight. Athena's running things down there, and they're all in, and they're Morgan fans. This is Bill yeah, Chatham talking to them. Come on, man. You're in great shape. You're going good. You're two rounds up easy. Right, but I want you to pick it up. I want not ones and twos. I want threes and fours now, right? Now, listen, when he goes back, 
Great examples of very calm, composed corners. And there are those body shots. That's with the right hand from Morgan. And that nice crisp combination there from Gunner Jackson. He finished the round well. Once again, brilliant work with slow motion from our cameraman. Great job. Producer and director, Ricky Van Steeden, great job. I work with television networks all over the world, and there's none better than you guys at Sky, I'll tell you that. Great job. Here we go, round number three, the Colonel Bomb Sheridan here at the Vodafone Event Center in Manukau, New Zealand, along with Mike Engo. Mike's a former fighter, kickboxer. Still trains a lot of fighters, so we're glad that Mike can be with us here for this night of uh, really good boxing from Auckland, New Zealand. Some nice touches again from Gunner this round. He's timing the jab, coming with the overhand right. And he's looking for the uppercut off his own lead hand. He comes inside. Morgan, we know what he's going to bring. Left hook taken on the gloves and another one. Now the left hook, uh, you know, downstairs he scores with it every time when he comes upstairs with the left hook. Uh, Gunner does a nice job uh, taking it on the back of the glove, but... That right hand to the cup, a little low. You know, he, stop, Mike, stop. you're a fighter, so I want to ask you this question. In spite of the fact that Gunner, you know, has a track record in with heavy punches, how much are these body shots going to take a toll on him? Because these are hard body shots. Morgan's got a vicious body shot. There's a nice little uppercut. Well, Gunner Jackson, who just ate a right hand coming in, nice left hook too from Morgan. Gunnar Jackson has a very good chin, is always supremely conditioned. So this won't be the hardest puncher he's faced. And it's only an eight round fight. Although Morgan now coming on strong. Yeah, he's in and body shots, head shots, tied up by Gunnar and Isaac Peace, the referee, separates him very quickly. There's Great that. right hand. There's been a couple of decent punches landed by Gunnar. Now he's got a puffiness underneath that eye. And I want to see if there's a slit underneath that left eye of Bowen. As he goes right back to work downstairs. Hard shots by both guys now. And this is the third round. Boy, this is a good fight. Wherever you're watching around the world, hope you're enjoying it. High class boxing, Duco event style from Auckland, New Zealand. Body shots there from Morgan. Now he's starting to come with the uppercuts, and that's the shot he's lacked. He tends to wing a lot of shots. Good exchange of punches. Gunner Jackson often ties people up on the inside. And he, uh, he's been unable to do that. Morgan's not giving him a rest. Well, that, that's one thing. He's trying to keep pressure on this guy. And there is a mouse underneath that uh, left eye. Can't tell if it's split open or not. We'll see in between rounds. But it's closing up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, that was that right hand uh, back uh, oh, about uh, a minute or so ago that uh, Gunner uh, was able to land. This is a difficult round to score. Both guys have had their time in this round. I think that I'm leaning towards uh, Gunner Jackson because... Even though Morgan dictated the pace, Jackson's landing some hard shots in this round, really hard shots. And he's finishing the round well. He's finishing with clean head shots on the button. Bowen Morgan's face is starting to bust up. We'll have to get a look at that. I give that round to Jackson. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Very close round. Judges could go the other way. But you can start to see some of the accumulation of those shots of Gunnar Jackson. Underneath the left eye of Bowen Morgan, he landed a lot of overhand rights clean. I've got a 28-29 favor of Jackson after three. Chris Walker, Craig Thompson worked that corner. Come on, man, you're in great shape, right? See that, folks, where that eye has uh, got a problem? He's just got a mouse. It's not split open. And I'm surprised he doesn't have any inswell on it. And Gunnar Jackson, there's that uppercut. Nice little hand trap with his lead hand. Pulling him onto it, Lennox Lewis style. There's the southpaw right hook from Bowen Morgan. Here we go, round number four of Vodafone's Event Center in Manico in New Zealand. Bowen Morgan decked out in the black sparkly trunks with the gold trim, and that's Gunnar Jackson. Jackson, when he lands that left hook, is, is often piping the straight right hand down the tubes after, and it's working. When Gunner. he's able to take that half pace back, too, he's timing Bowen Morgan. He just needs to keep himself off the ropes and not fall into the clinch quite so much. He also looks like he's got a second win here, too, Mike, as uh, he's getting off first now where 
in the last round Bowen uh, was getting up not the last round but the round before that Bowen was getting off first and picked up the pace That's Bowen up. has got to get back to those body shots he's, he's coming upstairs with his jab now squared up again as Bowen Morgan if he misses gonna, that shot go ahead yeah, Mike. if you're going to be a, a square fighter like that you have to have good head movement and Bowen hasn't quite got that he's trying to move his head he's trying to slip the jabs in the right hand but uh, there was a nice little overhand right but uh, generally speaking he takes one to try and give one neither fighter has been down nobody's been shaken there have been hard shots landed by both guys and absorbed very well which goes to the conditioning of these two fighters right hand not quite on the button that time by Bowen Morgan Morgan now trying to get his hands free on the inside. Gunner Jackson, experience pro. Hands under the armpits, tying him up, making it difficult. Right hand lead, good left to hook to the body again. And I was asking you, Mike, about how long you can take these left hooks. And uh, you mentioned the fact that Gunner's been in there, the guys that actually hit harder than Morgan. But by golly, he's landed some really good body shots. Not as many in this round as he has before, although he spun around and tried to get that one in. That nice. left eye could become a problem too as it swells up a bit. If Jackson get a few more right hand shots on top of that, I'll get the jab in that eye like he did that time, three in a row. Yeah, Gunner Jackson just putting it out there, just touching him up. Nice little hand trap yeah. with the right hand, followed up with the uppercut. Kept good head control there. Bowen Morgan, though, straight back. A little bit of the sting going out of some of the shots of Bowen Morgan. This is midway through this eight round professional fight. Yeah, we're in the fourth round. It's scheduled for eight. Morgan sliding around to his right. Now he stops in front of him, cuts loose with the right hand. Nothing there. Catches him with the left uppercut. Right back comes at Gunner. The left hook catches him on the right side of the head. A little bit of puffiness by the right eye now of uh, Gunner Jackson. Jackson with a white trim on his black shorts to the right uh, of your screen. Trying to put some shots downstairs together with Bowen Morgan. And he gets that one to Bowen Morgan's body. Bowen back upstairs with the left hook. Closing seconds now of round number four. Both boys pulling the trigger. Pretty tired round this one. Hard to score. Well, I'm sitting on a very uncomfortable fence in that pivotal round. Halfway through the bout. Bowen Morgan back to the blue corner. You know, Mikey. You know, Mike, there's a, a round that, uh, you know, was very difficult to score, and I thought that uh, perhaps that uh, uh, the judges might be split on that, so I put that down as 10-10 uh, on the score sheet. Yeah, I tend to agree with you on that. Uh, judges don't typically draw rounds, but uh, that one was very close. Backwards and forward action. Both guys were landing some good shots inside and outside. Well, one thing for sure is the judges won't score a 10-10 round if they're professional judges. They're trained not to, but for our sake, uh, uh, I put it down there because I do it that way in case I think that the judges could be split on it, which is the case there. And we're about to get underway in our fifth round as the corners exit the ring. All right, here we go, round number five. The Colonel Bob Sheridan, along with Mike Ango, we're in Auckland, New Zealand, at the Vodafone Event Center in Manukau. Our principal's in there, to the right of the screen, with the gold trim, trim on his black trunks is Bowen Morgan, with the black and white trunks. That's Gunner Jackson, and now with his back to you, sliding around to the right. Some good skills coming out. Both these guys had extensive amateur backgrounds. Both of them had amateur New Zealand titles, represented New Zealand internationally. And we're starting to see some of those skills go out as the rounds go on. Chopping right hand there from Morgan. Nice left hook that landed, only half parried by the gloves. Morgan only in his uh, ninth professional fight, but he had an extensive amateur career with plenty of international competition. Gunner has been in with the best. He's got 25 victories as a professional, only uh, eight losses and uh, three draws. And like Mike said a little bit earlier, he's the type of guy who can compete with any of the best in the world in the super welterweight division or even higher. He's uh, eating a few shots, so Morgan's got his timing back on in this round. Yeah, he's having a better round here in round five as Bowen comes in. Oh, hard right hand. That's one of his uh, best right hands in the fight. And you know what? You talked about him not moving his head enough. And you know why he's having the success, Mike? Because he is moving his head more now. Hard body shot behind that right elbow of Gunnar Jackson. 
Notice Gunnar Jackson, he moves forward, he makes it difficult for him to leverage. He gets himself out into centering. He's looking for that right yeah, uppercut. See, he's, uh, he's holding, he's making the referee, Isaac Peach, who's actually fought Gunnar Jackson in the amateurs on a number of occasions. Bowen Morgan just uh, sneaking a slap out off the clinch. Here he is back, both sides of the body, the right side first, left side behind the elbow, then back upstairs. Nice uppercut. Jackson has landed that uppercut three or four times and a couple of times in this round. These are getting to be tough rounds to score. I think Bowen is having a better round. He's been a little bit more aggressive and has landed more punches in this round. The last round really too close to call when you're as busy as we are with other things besides just uh, calling the fight. They've got to start calling that head soon. Gunnar Jackson's head was pushed right up. Now, you said it before, Colonel. Morgan has good success when he comes upstairs with the uppercut off those body shots. You know, the old Tyson-style punch, and that just ensures there was a nice chopping straight left hand from the southpaw position, followed up by a left hook. And the right hand, they get, there's an uppercut that time by Gunnar Jackson. And Morgan's taking advantage now. I think these body shots may be taking a little bit of a toll on Gunnar right now. But if he went the distance with a, a guy like uh, Ryota Morata from Japan, he can go the distance with Bowen, I think. But uh, very punishing shots to the body. The fifth round of my book goes to Bowen Morgan as the bell comes up. Good work done, particularly from that lead hand of Morgan throughout this round. And you can lock that one away unofficially, of course. To Bowen Morgan, the man from Christchurch. I've got only one point separating the uh, two fighters, and remember, I put down the fourth round 10 10, so that's something we got to keep an eye on. And the reason I did that again to explain it to you is because I thought that the judges would be split on that round. That's Gunner. If you look at both guys, they're both they're starting to breathe now halfway through this fight, or just over halfway, but the very strong, very intent in listening to their corner. Phil Shatwood there giving Morgan the rundown. And some good work there from Bowen Morgan. Landed a number of clean shots. That left hook right on the ear of the very durable Gunner Jackson. All right, we're set to go to round number six. Bowen Morgan again with the black and gold. Gunnar Jackson, black and white. And here we go on the six. This is a very competitive fight. This is really a good prize fight. Very fast pace to this fight. Seesaw battle back and forth by both of these men. Again, Bowen uh, lands that looping right hand that catches the attention. Then he goes to the body trying to faint down, dips a little bit, slides around to the right, then faints back to the left. Just a piece of trivia here. We have in the ring three welterweight New Zealand champions in the amateurs. All three of them. If you count the referee Isaac Peach. Watching very closely. Dangerous man in his own right. What a nice job refereeing. Nice clean fight with the exception of those heads coming together. And I mean it's a fight. Gives the verbal command and then there's a do what the pros do and get in there and separate. It's great to see a young referee as well. He's not afraid to get in. Well, you know, when you're a fighter like you've been, Mike, uh, you got a better idea of what needs to be done in there, but there's still a lot of training that goes along with it. But he's doing a nice job. Yeah, those heads coming together. There we go. Look at that head upstairs. Well, if the referee's not going to call it, you just take advantage of it. Chopping right hand there catches Jackson on the way in from Morgan. He's moving his head more, and that's making him harder to tag. Stiff jab, a couple of double jabs by uh, Gunner. Gunner pushes him back. Gets off first that time. Morgan has to take a deep, uh, hard breath. And now they're back to it again. The old Christmas decorations got rattled a little early. Two tough men in there, I'll tell you. This is a tough fight right now because these men have worked hard. There's been a very fast pace of this fight in there. A little bit on the gas side, but this is. No quit neither one, and these are two tough professional fighters. Just uh, Gunnar Jackson, his trigger has just slowed down a little bit. The uh, the wear of Bowen Morgan starting to get to him, though. That's some nice work to the body. He's just not using his reach as much, although now he's starting to physically push Morgan back. A lot of work on the inside he is with the elbows. His, his punches are very sloppy right now, and while he's working hard, he's, he's going to the well and not coming up with anything. 
Morgan still landing more crisp punches as I say that he lands a decent uppercut. Blasted him with the right hand on the left side of the ear of Bowen Morgan. Forehead to forehead, these guys are going at it. They're right above us, ringside. This is classical infighting from both boys. This is a battle for physical supremacy. Morgan trying to hold his own there. Gunner pushes him right back. Digging body shot by Gunner Jackson. Closing seconds now. This is the sixth round. This is scheduled for eight. It's another tough round to score. They were head to head, shoulder to shoulder throughout this. Well, Gunner Jackson came on strong through fair sheer force of will in that final part of that round, but uh, I'm still favoring Bowen Morgan, but very hard to split. And, and you know, and I went the other way, Mike, so that could give you an idea of how the judges went. And then we had that round two rounds ago in the fourth. We were so close that round that we gave it 10 10 so this fight could be any place right now and one, one thing you've got to say you'll see fighters when they're tired if they hit anywhere close to the groin they'll take a knee and take take their rest gunner morgan shook that pretty clean body shot to the uh cup off and it was back in action within five seconds so with what i said uh i've got this thing scored dead even at the end of the sixth round 57 57 and it could be one point one way or the other, but it's a really good fight. This is what boxing's all about. Supreme grit from both these guys in the latter round. This is round number seven, scheduled for eight. And they have worked very hard. The pace has been furious. Now let's see who wants it the most. This is... Uh, and an eight round fight, this is championship time right now. Gunnar Jackson, when he's on the outside, he's able to roll off a lot of shots. He rolls the right hand, he slips a lot better, and he lands that curling overhand right of his that uh, created the mouse on Bowen Morgan's eye. I haven't seen There's anybody working, right hand. I haven't seen anybody working on that, uh, on that uh, eye at all. I haven't seen any in swell on it or anything of that nature, but somehow or other, Phil has it under control, and that's what's important. As the jab, Morgan uh, seems to have a little bit more vinegar in him right oh, now. Oh, oh, come on, work. Jackson's coming forward to tie each other up, as you can see. Okay, break. Jackson wants to get break. just a little bit of a break here. Morgan's got to keep the pressure on him, and he does. He doubles the jab, pumps the jab again, feints to the right side, comes back with yeah, to the body. Here, Good indication there. Jackson hit and went to hold straight away. He is really starting to tire now. Those Look. body shots coming out, multiple volleys from Bowen Morgan. Folks, look at the amount of punches that Bowen Morgan is throwing versus Gunnar Jackson right now. This is a guy that really wants us. There's a lot of time left in this round. We're only approaching the halfway point. Can he keep and sustain this sort of pressure on Gunnar Jackson? Jackson's still fighting away in the trenches, but Bowen Morgan oh. he is accustomed to the trenches. And there we see just the lack of power from Gunnar Jackson. Landed the clean right hand, but it barely deterred Bowen Morgan. Morgan back with the left hook, a slashing right hand that doesn't do any damage at all. It's Gunner doing a lot of laying on Morgan, uh, or rather uh, Bowen Morgan right now. There's a big a right shot. hand. Caught him with a good right hand, surprised him with that one. I'm not sure whether he was wobbled or he slipped on the canvas, but uh, he was certainly That's feeling not. for his feet for a right. moment. Isaac Peach back in action again. This time of night when you get the water on the big logo, that Burger King logo there. Another uh, left hook there landed. That can happen. Now, Gunnar Jackson trying to put pressure on him, but he's not throwing any punches yeah, right now. And Isaac stops the two. Gunnar looks like he might be gassed a little bit. It's a hard body shot. And this is the time those body shots take the toll. Another hard body shot. The hands are cut down now of Gunnar. Gunnar comes with the uppercut because his hands are down. And Bowen can look for more of those as he's having Stop. trouble keeping his hands up right now. So with 17 seconds to go in this round. Oh, loaded up a shot. How about that? The legs are weak. Experienced pro knows when to hold on. Morgan landed that left hand. After Gunnar Jackson threw, overthrew his sloppy right hand. Well, that one goes into the box. A lot of torrid work, but on the basis of that final shot, I go Morgan's way there, Cliff Curtis. One of the most famous and versatile actors in the world. And he comes out of New Zealand and played multiple roles from uh, 
Maori chief, Uncle Bully, to Colombian drug dealer. Glad I got you here for that, because I wouldn't have known. <laughs> well, as uh, Gunnar Jackson, a tough kid, seemed to run out of gas in the last half of the last round. I've got a Morgan out in front, 70, uh, brother, 67, 66. One point in his favor. But again, we had that uh, round back along, but we didn't go either way. Go ahead, Mike. There we go. There's the right uppercut. Overthrew that right hand and got caught on the temple. The cranium cracker that really wobbles up your equilibrium. And that was the defining punch of that seventh round. Graham Henry, the all-black coach, sitting there. There we go. Here we go. This is round number eight. The eighth and final round of this fight. Who wants it the most? Gunnar Jackson with the white trim on his black trunks, the gold trim on the trunks of Bowen Morgan. Fight's very even. I've got one point separating the fighters right now. Neither fighter has been down. Neither fighter has been shaken. Both of them have had their moments in this fight. Nice work there from Gunnar Jackson. Again, he looks at his best on the outside. It's when he gets dragged into the trenches by the undeterrable Bowen Morgan, who's just relentless with his body attack. That's and when he, he landed, starts to get into trouble. And he landed three or four punches in a row right there, maybe five. There he is with that left hook back upstairs, looking for the big body shot again. I still think that Jackson is more gassed than his Bowen, but uh, there's a couple of minutes left in this fight. Bowen's got to keep the pressure on him because this fight is that close. Instead, he gets cracked by a right hand by Gunnar Jackson. Nice little head control there, subtlety of the moves. He missed with the left hook, just pushed him around, put him onto the right hand with a hand trap. Looks Slick like a skills side. from Jackson. Looks like a second win now from Bowen Morgan as he cracks him with a hard body shot. Looks like he's got a real explosion of adrenaline right now. There's another five punch combination, a couple of them landed. Downstairs, the punch is alone now by Gunner, meaning he's having trouble keeping his hands up because he's fatigued. And why wouldn't he be with the body shot since he's taken in this fight? If Morgan goes on to win this fight and gets the decision, it's because of body shots. That time he went head on him, landed and cracked him well. And he may have staggered Gunnar Jackson. That left hook landed. He went upstairs, downstairs, right ribs of the body. Left hook landed clean. And Jackson, he's a shut up shot momentarily. He's got a very good chin. Took that one clean, but it was more of a slap. I think we might just be seeing the consequences of so many battles for Gunnar over the years. Just getting old in the ring. You see it happening sometimes. Yeah, he's, o he's only 30 years of age, Mike, but he's been in against world-class fighters, and, and this is the way he goes. He goes the distance with almost everybody, and, you know, these are hard fights like this one and his last couple of fights, even though he's been successful. Look at the stuff in the corner. Just an indomitable will, though. He's throwing shoe shine shots. There's not a lot on them, but he's trying to take out this last round. He's trying to find that extra something special. That'll give him this round, the final round, 30 seconds to go. His legs are gone right now, I'll tell you that. He's just trying to survive right now. And this is where those body shots have taken the toll. Clean uppercuts landed by Bowen Morgan. Morgan stands up in front of him, face to the left, throws the right hand, sets up again. He needs a couple of more body shots, and this thing could be over for Gunnar Jackson. But we're running out of time now. 15, 14, 13 seconds to go in the fight. This has been a marvelous fight. No quit in Gunnar Jackson as they battle towards the bell in the final round of this fight jackson shows why he's a professional fighter as he battles morgan to the bell what a finish not the, size, not the size of the dog but the size of the fight and the dog and both those mongrels showing plenty of heart right up until the eighth and final round i ended up giving the fight to morgan i scored at 77 75 We'll see how the judges scored. It was a close fight. Yeah, I'm edging your way as well, just on the basis of volume and clean shots landed. But there are a couple of swing rounds there, Colonel, that, that we weren't sure or we were divided on. Yeah, that's right. We had one that we couldn't make up our mind on, which we thought that the judges would be split on. And then we had one that I gave it to Morgan and you gave it the other way. So this fight could be, you know, anyway. Yeah, fourth and fifth rounds were close. I think Morgan down the stretch did a lot of work though although that final round interesting gunner might have done enough in his final flurry but morgan if he has won this fight that's a big win for him because gunner jackson has fought world-class fighters and you know 27 they got to start moving with bowen morgan even though that was only his ninth professional fight
coming off to a knockout loss in his last bout. Uh, that was uh, to Chris George after he had him on the canvas early. He's not taking any shortcuts. He's not taking easy fights. Gunnar Jackson is no easy mark in your ninth fight. Well, I was surprised actually that they came back with a fight this tough with a you know a better than journeyman fighter in uh, Gunnar Jackson. But Phil Shepard knows what he's doing. And for Duco, it's a great night of boxing so far. We get to see young John Parker. We got to see Izo Ogano. The local people love Nez. Tanjani winning her fight. Dave Latelli got the unanimous decision. It's been a terrific night of boxing so far. And this one, well, terrific stuff. It just was continuous. He's a metronome. Bowen Morgan just continues to throw with abandon throughout the fight. A lot of clean shots landed. And let's head to Lieutenant Dan Hennessy. Fighters to the center ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of super welterweight professional boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one, Steve Miles scores the contest, 78-74. Judge two, Jeff Nelson scores the contest, 77-75. And judge three, Darcy Williams scores the contest, 78-74. By your winner, by unanimous decision, fighting out of the blue corner, Bowen Morgan! Talking to Bowen Morgan, while well, Bowen, after the first up loss to Chris George in your hometown, geez, you picked a hard opponent for the comeback fight. Yeah, first of all, I've got to just congratulate Gunnar Jackson. He's such an amazing opponent, as well as a uh, box as well, so everyone give him a big hand. <laughs> first of all, as well, I'd just like to thank my cornering, uh, Phil, my coach, Marty Price and uh, Mike Wilscott. They've done an amazing job with me. They stick in hours after hours, day after day, and I'm just to totally grateful for what they do. Now, Gunnar is known as a very fit, strong fighter. He's taken fights against Mundine on short notice and proved very good. The longer that fight went on, the stronger you looked. You were taking the legs away from him. Yeah, I mean, with a, with a fighter like Gunnar, you know, eight rounds is nothing to him, you know? He can do 10, 12, easy. So, really had to slow him down in the body and, um, also, I've still got a lot to work on myself. Uh, I noticed my hands are still coming down. That's, that's one issue I really need to work on. You had to contend with Gunner's head at times, and I, I admire you for not complaining about that, and, and you worked around that. Um, that must have been difficult, but still you carried on, and you won in emphatic fashion. Yeah, I mean, to get a win on this card here tonight after coming off a loss, it means absolutely the, the, the world to me. Um, and then just we're back on the up now. Yeah, last time you missed out on thanking the sponsors. Now's your time. Yeah, thanks everyone. Um, I'd just like to thank NZ Health Food uh, Company. They've been really great sponsoring me. Uh, Mark Jones, Brent Francis, uh, Mike Walshaw, uh, Matt, uh, yeah, I said a more. Uh, Claudia for my nutritionist, and also Johnny, Johnny Buckner for strength and conditioning. Thanks very much, everybody. Appreciate it. The relentless Bowen Morgan.